Yo, what's going on guys? Screw you, Chat Chow. Please don't comment on this video. But uh, before anything, let me start this video off by mentioning this. I am very annoyed on the release schedule of this unit. They decided to release this five star unit near the end of prelims where everyone's either tired from grinding and or grinding out dogs so they are not able to slime efficiently and load this unit up as fast as possible. That was rather annoying and side game screw you. But today we'll be looking at the newest five star unit being air. Now, if you didn't know, he's an earth human special as in he's a very special unit compared to other attackers in the game. He has some really good quirks about him and he's a melee unit. Him being a solo melee unit does hinder him a little bit due to the fact that he does not have more options when it comes to building a team around a special weapon. This is always going to be a problem with any unit in the game where they have a one weapon specialty unless they are so inherently broken that that doesn't matter. So let's keep that in mind. Very important. Now, we're looking at his Ogi. So his Ogi did see a change. Before, it used to give him 50% bonus damage, and that's about it. Now, he gains 50% bonus damage, and also deals triple attacks for one turn. Very, very strong combo, and it works really well with Rune Slayer and other builds like Shiva. So it's very, very strong. Do keep in mind, it's only one turn though, opposed to his five turns on his bonus damage. So just keep that in mind. His skill one sees no change at all. It's the exact same skill, Guilty Break. Nothing has changed. It's still your go-to skill to dropping Ayer's HP from anywhere from 100 all the way to one health. Very good at bringing out oracles and invokers, whatever you may want to call them. His skill two jolt counter does see a change before it used to restrict his attacking. So he was not able to attack at the cost of using his skill. Now he can now attack. However, he does not have the ability to charge attack, but he gains three hit dodge and counter effect every turn, not to mention also getting 30% charge bar for the turn use. However, it does come at the cost of 10% charge bar at the end of each turn. So keep that in mind, very important. His last skill, Ashen Roar, is a little bit controversial due to the fact that they changed the skill drastically. Before, it was a high hostility boost to air was very good for some people who wanted to get the high hostility to have A or die earlier to bring in an invoker or oracle. Now he gains substitute, but he also gains dauntless spirit, which allows him to have lethal hit damage, allowing him to survive if he's not at one health. So any attack that would to kill him will now drop his health to one if his health's already at one health though, he will die regardless. So just keep that in mind. There are ways to have air have enough health where using his skill one, four times will drop him to one health, but it requires precise health. So throwing that out there in case anyone wants to try it themselves. Um, personally, I don't think that's too big of an issue with his skill three change when it comes to oracles and invokers mainly because i use rackham over air and rackham has no inherent hostility boost and he works perfectly fine so just want to throw it out there i do have air but rackham is just one button and he drops to one health so it's a lot more simpler than hitting up like five buttons and stuff like that i don't really like doing that it's not very practical in my opinion but not everyone has rackham obviously christmas rackham and for his last thing, his support skill does see a change. He gains multi-attack rate now, opposed to double attack rate. Not a huge change. 
and it doesn't really help the team, but it does help Ayer be more consistent with his auto attack damage, which he is a king of. So keep that in mind, but he also has to be low health, low health, high value. Anyways, we're going to take him against the Lord and God of Earth, Octo, and see how he, can, he does. And hopefully it'll be a good test, but I'll be right back. Okay, so today we'll be using Octo and Ayer. Um, there was two options for the slot two here. I thought about going with Kine, but I ended up going with Alex, Alex and Babe. Um, probably not the best option, but you know, oh, okay, we get an error. Cool, great, yay. Wow, what a way to start a video, huh? Can I, can I, can the game load? Okay, so, you know, I would have started again, but we're not. We're not. We're gonna be using doing Levive then, because I don't feel like doing anything else to be honest. <laughs> I thought about Europa, but all right, Europa just is unnecessarily long, and I don't feel like doing it to be honest. So yeah, We're taking on Levive then again, rematch. This time I have Veil. Ooh, fight me now, Dragon. This is Levive then the Dragon, right? All right. No, I, I guess it depends on the, like, it depends on the lore, right? I know some people consider it a dragon, some people consider it a snake. There's a lot of ways to look at it, but people probably gonna be like, somebody, I know somebody's gonna be leaving it on, like, in the comments. Oh, no, it's not a dragon. It's this, this, this in the third. Hey, 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 I, I, okay, I understand, bro. I got it. <laughs> I just know in some games they consider it a dragon. Yeah, we're gonna beat up this snake dragon thing. Well, Bob, get him beat up. So you need to know. It's not living. I missed the fence down again, unfortunately. It's, it's just how it goes in my luck. Don't got the best debuff luck. It is what it is. Um, I'm actually not gonna use. Um, I thought about using the fence down from Rune Slayer, but I'll probably not do it. Because Leviathan is always gonna clear this this area always clears whatever debuff you do. So it's like no real point in my opinion. Just gonna go with this here. So yeah, I wanna do a good test of Octo versus Ayer. Um honestly Octo is the strongest damage dealer overall, but when it comes to auto wing, he does fall a little bit behind Mr. Fisticuffs over here. So It'll be a good test for people who want to see the damage difference between them. I am running a stamina build, so keep that in mind. So, just in case people are wondering what I'm running. Stamina is not the best for Ayer, but he can still perform really well with stamina. Um, obviously, he'll perform better with Mini, but this, uh, not many units in the game perform really good with Mini. So. That's the hard reality when it comes to think of this element. This is like, while Ayer himself can perform good, you gotta think about the team, right? How would your team perform? And honestly, they don't perform that well. So, you gotta, you gotta make the sacrifice here for the greater good. Cool. You didn't debuff me this time, boy. Oh, I, I should cap punch down now. I kind of forgot. I kind of don't want to cap the fence down so you can see the actual damage difference between both units, though. So we will cap the fence down after this turn. We'll even give Octo his attack boost as well. So you can see the damage difference between them. This is with no the fence down being capped. And then after this, we'll cap the fence down. Also, keep in mind that um, Ayer is on stamina right now. So in that case, if he was on midi, he would be capping. He just got annihilated. Why? Uh, why game is so aggravating? Oh my god. You know what? We keep it. Yellow, yellow, dude. That's gonna happen when you use when you use him. Air. Sometimes he just gets exploded. 
you don't want them to get exploded, but the game has a different idea for you. <laughs> this is how it goes, man, unfortunately. But you have to go above and beyond to have them protected to make sure that he does not end up dead like, right there. I don't like it. Definitely not a fan of it. Give I don't even know what that is. Oh, charge bar. I, I never used this card before. I, I only use them for one turning with with um with a uh, mechanic. <laughs> so I don't know what he does. <laughs> he's in the back row. I don't know why he's in the back row actually. So I think he's my DW team to be honest. Hey, he does good damage though for an SR. You know, that's not bad. Two point five mil. Okay. Keep in mind that SRs have lower base multipliers than a SSR. I believe an SR is like multiplies times four or 4.5, depending on the, uh, how many stars it is. I believe five stars gain 5x on their OG. That's why inherently most SSRs is better than SRs due to the fact that they come with the, you know, the damage boost, so. Probably should have healed here. Uh, I guess it's not that important. But yeah, Ayer got exploded. It, you're most, more than likely gonna have your Ayer end up dying. That's how it goes for playing with the MIDI characters. Like, sometimes when it comes to soloing with them, the boss may want to target them over other units. And if you miss your debuffs, like I did mine, I didn't have a tag down, so he was taking what, 2k per auto? It's unfortunate, but that's the harsh reality when it comes to units like that. Is that they just don't have, he doesn't have inherent protection, right? Like, like other units, um, he can explode at any minute. It really depends on how much your debuffs hit or not. If your debuffs hit, then he will have less. He be less likely to explode. But just, what the? <laughs> what was that? I, as I mentioned, I never used gym, right? I think like, never used gym. So all that's new to me, as far as I know. But hey, a, a showcase. Hey, he died. <laughs> hey, how it goes, you know? It be like that sometimes. <laughs> he don't have inherent protection, right? He didn't have lethal hit as a passive or um. Oh, he doesn't have a couple things, right? That other units may have, like Kalulu, right? Kalulu is a good example of a unit where. They can play at the low health because they have like boosted defense, dodge, and all that other stuff, right? He doesn't have that, so. Yeah, you may end up dying. If the boss is attacking you, he may end up dying, so. I'm gonna keep this in the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. It's oh, this is the harsh reality of how the unit works, and you're gonna have to get used to it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.